I'll find it back. I'll find it. Okay. The theory of the universe and what's the meaning of life. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Tree uh, falls in the fire. I, I think the biggest. <laughs> uh, I think the biggest struggle right now in the movement is the thing between rights and entitlements, between choices and entitlement. And how do you give people the services with people with disability, the basic services they need in order to do something, and, and at some time don't disempower them. And I think that comes a lot on responsibility of the leaders of the movement. I think that's where we're failing right now. I mean, I've been away from, from, for you know for for a while now. Um, so uh, you know, I'm sort of looking at it from 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 a distance. Uh, I think it's remarkable what we what was achieved, um, but there's 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 clearly a lot that that, that needs to be done um, on a personal level. I mean, the the 25 or so years that I spent from the camp. To, Mayor's office to the, the pole site access project. I, I was one. Um, I it, it it I mean it just changed my life. I mean it just I I, I it, it enriched my life in enormous ways. Um, it's something uh, I want my kids to know about. Um, they don't know that much. I haven't. I don't. You know, generally when I go from one, you know, I sort of leave it. And that's it. I'm on. You know. Uh, like when I went to OTB, I went, you know, to handicapping, you know, to part of the fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, uh, but it, it, it's something. It's something. Uh, you know, when if to, you know, uh, did you ever do anything worthwhile? Yeah, I could say yeah. Uh, um, well, I'm still in it, so I guess <laughs> for me, um, you know. It, it pretty much defined my, my future in the sense that, you know, it, it, um, I've always been, since, since the 70s, I've had jobs and my life has been very much um, disability rights and services and advocating and on and on and on, both personally and, you know, and um, professionally. So, and I can't see myself, frankly, not doing it, not being involved um, in something that's, you know, related, you know, or directly involved. Okay. Um, I guess for me, I too, have, um, being disabled in the work has really been very central in my life. Um, I think what I, what I hope is that the diversity of people with disabilities gets even more recognition. I still feel like we don't pay enough attention to gender and to race and ethnicity, that there's a lot of differences and a lot of strength and contributions from that rich diversity. And it sort of hasn't felt, it hasn't felt well integrated to me. Even gender hasn't felt very well integrated. I, I sort of want to make sure I'm really committed to the younger generation. I sort of like want to make sure that all those young kids can feel like they can have a full life and feel really proud of being disabled and of all their attributes. Um, so I still feel like we have a lot of work to do. You have the last word. <laughs> Um, well, I guess, like Anna and, and, and like Larry, I, I think that it's been a rewarding experience. You know, I, I, I feel like it, at the end of your life, you look at something and you say, well, I was part of something that was really important for, for myself, for other people. So I, I think that's the great thing. I, I don't feel like I've left the movement. It's sort of like I'm inside now. But I still push mm -hmm. for things. It's just that you you may you may not be able to be as um, aggressive. Uh, I was going to say as as successful as you would like to be sometimes. Yeah. You know, but I I I what I what I hope for is that um, more and more of our our people will will move out 
into all branches of the world. You know, I think that uh, it's it's really important for people to be whatever they want. It sounds like that that the for the, the army, army or something. Army but you know, to really to really be one. what you want to be. I don't think everybody has to be a leader or a disability mm -hmm. rights advocate, but I think it's really important for people to see that they have a, they have a contribution to make. It sounds very 60s, like from the time of Kennedy, but I think we need to start thinking again in terms of not what do we get out of things, but what do we give to things. And I think there's, there's really a lot of opportunity for people with disabilities to give, you know, as, as well as to, to receive. Thank you all for Thank you. It was fun. Thanks, yeah, Helen. Right. It was fun. It brought us all together. Yeah, you're not kidding. Okay. We'll have to, this is like old veterans. You'll get yeah. together. <laughs> 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 Is it accessory picking you up? It was Guadalcanal.